this chapter is easier than electrostatics chapter number 5 electrical electric resistance and ohms what is meaning of electric current see there are two branch of electricity one is static electricity that is called electrostatic then moving charge that is called electromagnetism in that we are starting with first chapter current electricity which is actually given electrical resistance and ohms law do you know definition of electric current what is electric current the rate of flow of charge is called as electric current okay hello what is electric yes current? sir rate of flow of charge is called electric current so if charge q flows through conductor in time t second then can i say current i is q by t hello yes sir what is si unit of current its si unit is ampere ampere or joule coulomb upon second either ampere or coulomb upon second it is scalar or vector quantity scalar sir it is a scalar quantity right this much the college is starting from when so june 8 done so what is 1 ampere very basic definition what is 1 ampere see i is q by t so 1 ampere is 1 coulomb upon 1 second yes sir so can i say when charge of 1 coulomb flows through conductor then charge of 1 coulomb flows through conductor for 1 second then current is 
said to be one ampere. Right. How many electrons flowing for one second produces current of one ampere? For one ampere current charge required for one second is one coulomb. So since Q is N E, correct? Right? Charge is number of electron N E. So can I say one coulomb is N into 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19? So n is 1 upon 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19, okay? Yes, sir. So n will become 10 upon 16 into 10 raised to 19. Can I say this is 100 upon 16 into 10 raised to 18? So it will become 16 into 6, 96. Remainder 4, 16 to 32. Remainder 8, 16 into 5. So this many electrons when flow for one second, we get current of one. Right. If Q equals to two T square plus three T plus four, what is I is 2t square plus 3t plus 4. What is charge flowing between 0 to 3 seconds? Important for KVP by. What is current defined as? Hello? Current is defined as what? Yes, sir. What is current defined as? Rate of log charge? Yes, sir. So since I is 2t square plus 3t plus 4. So can I say dq upon dt equals to 2t square plus 3t plus 4. Can I say like this? 
therefore dq is 2t square plus 3t plus 4 into dt any doubt till this first no sir no so in, that means integral of dq is integration of 2t square plus 3t plus 4 dt from time 0 to 3 second integration of dq is q this will become 3t raised to 3 upon 3 3t square upon 2 plus 4t from 0 to 3 3 3 cancel so we get 3 raised to 3 plus 3 into 3 raised to 2 upon 2 plus 4 into 3 minus of 0 q plus 3 upon 2 into 0 square plus 4 into 0. That will become 9 plus 3 square 27 upon 2, 4 into 3, 12. This will be 0. That is uh, 12 and 9, 21 plus 27 by 2, which you can write as 21 plus 13.5 that is 5.43 this much cooler followed yes sir okay. right Done, sir. So now, what is current density? It is defined as current per unit area. It is a vector quantity because area is vector quantity. So current density is a vector quantity. is given by j bar equals to i upon a bar. So you can also write current i because it is it is a scalar it will be j bar dot a bar. Hello? Yes sir. 
and if area is not uniform then we take current as integral of j bar dot da bar if it is not uniform then we integrate right current density Answer. In metals, who is responsible for current? In case of metal, in metals, who gives current? Electrons. Three electrons. Yes. Huh. In metals, motion of three electrons produces current. In electrolyte, who produces current? In electrolyte, atoms. Ions. 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 Huh? Ions. 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 So an electrolyte. both positive and negative ions produces current so don't get confused that current will become zero because positive negative if they are equal one is on the right side other is on the left side because if this is positive ion then current due to positive ion will be in the direction of current if this is traveling to the right current is in the direction of positive also in the right suppose no so it will be opposite no 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 for positive and for positive ions for positive ions it will be same direction if negative is traveling to the left so where will be the direction of current opposite opposite means where right hand side right side that means If I have got positive ion traveling in the right and negative traveling in the left, negative ions, current due to positive will be in the direction. Current due to negative will be opposite to negative ion. So result current will be add, na? Yes, sir. So in case of electrolyte, resultant current is due to current is current due to positive as well as negative charge. We add that. Just write as as a note. Once they had asked in NEET exam, the ten electrons are traveling in right, ten positive to the left. And so. The so motion of electron, you can consider same as motion of gas molecule. How the gas molecule move? Random motion or in one? Random direction? motion. Random motion. So electron is also moving in random motion. this gas molecule when they travel do they collide with each other or they move without collision 
So for gases, a gas molecule they travel. Do they yes. collide collide with each other? They may collide, no? No, may means you are not certain. If I place a container, they will always collide. Yeah, sir. Other. Ha. If ha. And what is distance covered between successive collision called as free path? Okay, sir. This we have done in eleven in kinetic theory of gas. Average of all the free path is called mean free path. Average of all the free path is called mean free path. Okay. Yes, sir. So same way, electron. When they are not connected to potential, they are in the state of random motion, traveling in any direction. Hello. Yes, sir. There are fixed ions present. In this metal, because the electron left means it has electron when moves, it keeps positive ion. Losing of electron is called positive. So these are fixed ion. So they will collide with each other. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. If you have done in ten. If you take a conductor. Connected to a battery, then all these free electrons will try to align themselves in the direction of opposite to the field. That means they will try to align themselves towards positive terminal. During their motion, they will collide with this fixed ions or not? Yes, collide? sir. Yes, yes, sir. So suppose imagine this is one electron starting from here with certain velocity at the start v is zero. Battery has given energy, so it gets accelerated. But in between, when positive ion comes, it will collide and then change the path and then again move, again collide, again move. So that means they are not moving in continuous manner like this. They collide and then drift in this zigzag manner. Hello. Yes, sir. This distance is called as this distance covered during successive collision is called free path, and average of large number of free path is called as mean free path. Followed meaning? Yes, sir. So I'm just giving you three definition: mean free path, relaxation time, drift velocity, then relation between them. Right? Mean free path heading. Mean. Heading right down, then definition of this. Yes, sir. The average distance covered. By three electron between successive collisions is called as mean free path. Let lambda one, lambda two, up to lambda n be free paths in n collisions. Therefore, mean free path lambda bar is lambda one plus lambda two up to lambda n divided by n.
Dan so. Uh, Durva, what is your mother tongue? So mine. Yeah. Marathi. Okay. So and uh, where is your native place? Sir, Sindhu Durga. Have you travelled by car any time or every time? Yes, you yes, 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 sir. So when you travel by car, suppose you stay at Goregao, then you might be coming through that Gorbandar uh, road to yes, Vashi sir. and then yes. express highway and then you will be going, na? Yes, yes, sir. In between, there are different toll nakas? Yes, sir. So when this toll naka come, what do you show? Some identity card? Yeah. No, mm. we have to... Pay. Either no. We can show also if we are ha, ha. Uh, government officials. Otherwise, we have to give them the money, na, that toll naka. Yes, sir. Toll, toll we have to give. So when one toll comes, you are waiting at a toll. Then you pay money. Then you relax. You go moving, 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 moving. Again, you get relaxed, relaxed, relaxed. Then you relax. And when you reach to express highway, you feel that there is a lot of time. So you are relaxed for a longer period or not? Yes, sir. That means if this is electron, here it is fixed ion, electron will come and collide and then again move till other elect positive ion comes. It is relaxed or not? Yes, sir. So this average time between successive collision is called as relaxation time. Suppose I start from here, Gorega, then at Dahisar I have to pay some amount. Time taken is 10 minutes. Then again at Thane I have to pay, time taken is 20 minutes. Again at Eroli, 30 minutes. Again at, uh, where it is then, after Eroli, uh, Nerul it may be. I don't know, I don't remember. Maybe at Panvel. So, different, 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 different toll nakas are at different, different distance or not? So, my relaxation time will be also different or not? Hello? Yes, sir. So, if here time is T1, here time is T2, here time is T3, so somebody says, Are kitna time tak aap log relax te? So, you will find average. So, average time between successive collision is called as relaxation time, okay? Yes, sir. Let's see how to write the definition. Relaxation time. It is denoted by tau. The average time interval between successive collisions. The average time interval between successive collisions is called as relaxation time. Let tau 1 period like this tau 1 comma tau 2 up to tau n be time interval between successive collisions. Therefore, relaxation time comma tau is tau 1 plus tau 2 up to tau n divided by Right definition properly.
Okay, here. None, so. Velocity. Velocity. The average velocity of the electrons. is called as drift velocity. Average velocity of electrons is called as drift velocity. It is nearly in the order of 10 raised to minus 4 meter per second. Done so. Derive expression for drift velocity. This diagram which shows conductor connected to battery of voltage B. Length of conductor is L. There is electric field always from positive to negative. velocity the diagram then we'll derive the question. So. Consider an electron having n collisions before it emerges out 
when a conductor is connected across battery of potential let tau 1 comma tau 2 up to tau n be relaxation times relaxation times during n position so we can say since velocity b is u plus kt hello yes sir so when we can think of electron moment it is starting here initial velocity will be zero and then it collides with the other one so from here when it starts collides with some electron its velocity will be different as compared to the previous one this is starting time okay hello when electron comes yes, here sir. it temporarily stops now here yes sir. and then then it gets accelerated due to electric field because if there is electric field there will be force acting per unit charge force is nothing but mass into acceleration upon charge so each electron will get accelerated by a that means v1 is 0 plus a into relaxation time it starts with 0 relax till it collides with another with velocity v1 yes sir just, just copy this much then i'm writing further before it comes out it will collide n times Answer. So I can say therefore V2 equals to 0 plus A tau 2 dot 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 the N will be 0 plus A tau N. Therefore V1 plus V2 dot 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 up to Vn is equals to A into tau 1 plus tau 2 up to e n. Therefore, v1 plus v2 up to v n divided by n will be a times tau 1 plus tau 2 up to tau n divided by n. By definition, this is called drift velocity. Average of all the velocity is called drift velocity. And this is relaxation time. Hello? Yes, sir. The average of all this is called drift velocity. So this is nothing but drift velocity equals to A times relaxation time. Average of all the interval of time is called relaxation time. What followed? Yes, sir, follow. So we can say, therefore, it's not easy. So this is nothing but A into relaxation time. So drift velocity is A into tau. Acceleration is force upon mass into tau. Force is nothing but electron into field upon m into tau. Follow this part? Yes, sir. So this is 
expression for drift velocity or we can say drift velocity is e by m potential v upon length into tau i hope you followed definition derivation yes sir actually it is very simple v is 80 q is 0 m is what force upon mass force is what electrical wala e into e and e is potential upon length so either i i remember like this it is nothing but a into tau so when required i write as force upon mass further e e upon mass further e is v by m, okay yes sir copy it right dance define mobility of electron define mobility of electron the ratio of drift velocity to the the ratio of drift velocity to the electric field applied is called as mobility of electrons it is given by mu equals to bd upon its si unit is drift velocity to electric field drift velocity is meter per second e is voltage per meter so it is given as meter square per volt second copy okay.
Cancel. Since mobility is drift velocity upon heat, what is drift velocity basic formula? Drift velocity basic formula A into tau, na? Yes, sir. So can I say G E upon M into this E into tau? E can be cancelled. So it is also equals to small e tau upon m. Number of electron is constant for given material. Mass is constant. Time depends upon temperature. So it is constant at given temperature. Just write down this as a note. Answer. One last topic for today because it is theory. Please revise for next lecture. Relation between electric current and drift velocity. N the number of electrons per unit volume in a conductor having length L comma area of Cross section A. Since I is charge upon time, charge means number of electron upon time. Now N means number of electron per unit volume. So can I say this will become N times A? N means total number of electron. This small n yes, per unit volume into volume into charge of electron upon time. So I is n into a distance upon time is called drift velocity. So I is given as n a v e. This is the relation. Copy. You can remember like this. I is Vina. So note will write down. I is Vina. V year drift velocity.
done sir so today we'll do this much because it was theory next class will start with resistance uh, factors affecting okay, resistance mm -hmm. because our chapter is electric resistance and ohms no? so current part i completed for yes sir potential you know it is work upon charge so next yes, class sir. we'll start with ohms law factors what is resistance factors affecting resistance relation between drift velocity and resistance and so on so revise it keep it ready by tomorrow 1 to 20 mcqs you will be able to do from that sheet yes sir so tomorrow you can join at 2 30 that batch i will send the link okay sir huh? so that that will get revised for you all yes sir. okay that's all for today yes, take sir. care bye bye sir thank you